Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be using Model One's Poly Gel to create this really fun Valentine's Day extension nail, so let's get right into the video. So Model One's actually sent over some of their glitter poly gels for me to test out and review, and I thought that with it being Valentine's Day today, I would create some really fun Valentine's Day extension nails. So here I'm just showing you how all of the tubes came. They were all sealed, so none of the product would spill out, which I really like. And it wasn't super hard to squeeze the product out of the tube, which is another plus with this product. So here is Tiffany Pink, a baby pink glitter poly gel. Purple Ring, which is a dark purple glitter poly gel. Glitter Princess, which is a clear poly gel with a ton of different glitters inside. Rills Dress, or Girls Dress, I think it's supposed to be, which is another shade of pink poly gel. Blue Ocean, which is a light blue, almost teal glitter poly gel. Oscar Skirt, a silver holographic glitter poly gel, and actually the one I featured in this video. And lastly, Royal Crown, which is a gold glitter poly gel. And here are all of the glitter poly gels next to each other so you can see the difference between the colors. And now getting into the nail itself. So I'm going to sculpt this nail out with a paper form. So I'm just taking out the little center circle piece and placing it on the back, rolling the form in between my fingers to start building the shape. And then I close the two tabs at the bottom to help it be a little bit more narrow and get the shape I want. And then I placed it snugly underneath my nail and made sure that there wasn't a large gap between the natural nail and the paper form. And then I just squeezed the bottom tabs together and rolled over the top tabs on my finger. And since I don't want to wear this nail for super long, I'm going to apply my Hello Taco Peely base coat for easy removal. And obviously, if you wanted to keep this manicure on, you would skip this step and go in with your natural prep and then the poly gel. And actually for the glitter pieces, I didn't have just regular heart sequins. So I'm taking this heart nail polish and I'm just painting some of it onto a makeup sponge. And then I'm picking out the little heart glitter pieces to use later. And if you have regular heart glitter sequins, you can totally go ahead and use those, but this is another alternative that worked fine for me. And now I'm going to start off with my clear Model 1's poly gel, and I'm going to scrape a little bit of that out of the tube, and then with my brush and some rubbing alcohol, I'm going to thinly spread that to start building out the tip of the extension. So basically my plan for this was to put a thin layer of clear down on the paper form, put in my heart glitter pieces and then encapsulate them in with another layer of clear. And this will help build out the nail and make sure that the glitter pieces are nice and secure inside of the poly gel. So I'm just going to continue to flatten out the clear and make it as thin as possible. And then I cured that and I'm removing the paper form now. And I decided I was going to use Oscar's skirt to do a little bit of a glitter gradient at the base of the nail. So I'm just scooping a little bit of that out of the tube. And then I'm going to take my brush and some alcohol again and thinly pat that around the cuticle area and slowly build it out towards the center of the nail. And I really like to get as close to the cuticle as possible without getting it on the skin and make it nice and thin around this area too so there isn't a lot of product. And then I slowly move towards the center of the nail where more of the bulk is going to be. And after I have put that into place, I'm going to take the tip of my brush and thinly spread out the glitter towards the tip, which will give a gradient effect. And the main reason I did this was to hide the natural nail and also give the nail a little bit more sparkle. And here is what that looks like with the gradient of glitter. And now I'm taking a super small amount of clear and very thinly spreading that on the rest of the remaining clear area. And this will help the heart sequence stick into place. And now I'm just taking those glitter pieces and placing them exactly where I want. And I think I did five or six hearts randomly placed to get a really cool effect. And I'm alternating between the pink and red colors as well. And now I'm taking a bigger bead of clear and I'm going to encapsulate the whole nail. So I'm going to start here by encapsulating the glitter pieces. And then I also went back towards the base of the nail to encapsulate the glitter. And this is a really important step because it will help build structure on the nail and it will also protect all of the glitter pieces from filing. And here is the nail after being cured and now I'm just taking a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol to cleanse off the tacky layer. And once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my hand file to perfect my shape and also fix the structure of the nail. So I started by going along the sidewalls and free edge to make my shape exactly how I want. And then I also went over the top of the nail to smooth out any lumps or bumps. 
And then here is the nail after filing and shaping, and you can see the beautiful structure and shape right here. And now I'm going to apply a layer of my Model 1's gel top coat, and this will really bring out the clarity of the poly gel, as well as add a beautiful shine to the glitter and heart pieces. So after applying my layer of top coat, I cured for 30 seconds in my LED lamp, and here is the final nail I created using Model 1's poly gel and some heart glitter pieces. So I really like how this extension came out, and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do long nails, and typically I don't wear long nails in my everyday life, so that's why I only did this nail on one of my fingers, but I am really getting into the longer nail look, and I think it is super fun to try these out for videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.